epicondylitis and then lateral epicondylitis. So the test for medial epicondylitis, we're going to have the individual in standing is best because you want them fully extended at the elbow. Just like that. Okay. And in full supination. And then I just grab across her metacarpals right here and just bring her back like this. And that will prove that's the medial epicondylitis. That's a passive test for medial epicondylitis. And it's if there isn't any, no big deal. You may feel some pull or some pressure through here just because you're really fully extending all of those. Make sure that you get everything. Fingers through the wrist and the elbow is extended too. Okay? And you may feel pain here. Or you may feel pain down into here, which is the proximal portion of the muscular tendinous junction. So that's for the medial epicondylitis. Lateral, you just turn them into a pronation, flex them like this, come across the metacarpals, have them make a little bit of a fist. As they do that, they won't be able to make much. But if they make a fist on top of it, that's just overpressure for them when they're doing that. And just give them a couple bumps like that. And that will give us pain out here in the lateral epicondyle, or right here on this, it's called the extensor muscle water mass, right there. Mm -hmm. So all of you are going to feel some tension, maybe a little discomfort, but it's, it's frank pain. It's sharp when you have any degree of tendonitis. When you put the arm back, back on the 